hello everybody welcome again to my channel wow today I want to talk about and do a follow-up on um, the incident regarding George George Floyd so he the policeman that did the act was arrested and charged based on what we understand but the people continue to burn and to loot and to create mayhem and um, they're calling for or the other officers to be charged because they were there they are accomplices you know when a crime is committed and other people are involved they're usually charged because they are considered to be complicit an accessory to the crime that was committed so I see no reason why it is an unreasonable call on the people to want to see that the other officers who stood there said nothing did nothing and assisted based on what I understand they assisted in carrying out this brutal act I was reading an article today that his wife has filed for divorce and I hope it's not a sham so two things that has come out of this so far he, he, uh, three things he was fired his wife has left him and he's charged for murder hmm this goes to show there's a thing that people call karma and it goes to show that when you commit an act against humanity in some cases you may get away for a while uh, or think that you have gotten away but another time there's swift justice we are hoping that this man will not just be charged but he will con be convicted and he will spend time in prison among the notorious criminals too who have committed acts like similar acts and they will deal with this case in prison I have no sympathy for people like that he's an evil vicious human being and there is just no morality in this man no 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 humanity in this gentleman Couldn't, I shouldn't even be calling him a gentleman there's no I think he's just a demon demon possessed man it's just just horrible 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 this crime that was committed and I it's, it's just the beginning of all his sorrows so he will be hounded for the rest of his life by people I'm sure who will want to exact revenge and I'm not encouraging it you know but I know that he, his life will never be the same sometimes people do some things and they think they can get away with it what, what does this guy think he's gonna just stood, this, stood there kill the guy and just walk free and get away as if nothing happened and he was doing it in front of so many witnesses who were ap appealing and begging for the man's life the man himself was begging for his life and the passers-by was begging for his life as a matter of fact one of the time it so angered one of the passers-by that he literally wanted to intervene literally I could see that he want he was gonna risk intervening but I guess he was afraid and then there's this guy who stood guard so he you know there's not much that they could he could do and I guess some people just don't want to get into trouble but really and truly um, I could see that people were incensed as they watch a man life being taken from him in the most brutal 
inhumane way. So I hope that, as I said before, good things um, will come out of this boat for the family. Well, there's nothing good can come out of this because you know what? Um, no matter whether the guy's convicted, he loses all, he can't get a job, he's still alive. He will still be alive. This guy's dead. The family will have to live with that for the rest of their life. To, so, to, to the, the, the memory to see that their loved one was taken in such a, and it was all, all unnecessary. It was not necessary. As I said in a previous video, the guy was literally uncuffed. Even if he had resisted arrest, there's not much of a resistance he could have done while his face was on the ground, the concrete. That's another in, injustice that some of these police men do. Huh? They put people on the dirty ground, have your face on the ground. How do you equate that with serving and protecting when you ask a human being to lay flat with their face on the ground and then you have your way with them. And that's why a lot of people are so angry today against um, the officers and a lot of people doesn't have good to say about um, the police force in general. But you know, um, it, is, it is what it is and we hope that justice will prevail I want to just appeal to those who are listening to me. It's pointless to go around and burn and loot and shoot and, and do all kind of stuff that it's really going to just make a bad situation worse because some of those same people whose place you are burning, if they, if they were there, they would have been probably begging for the man's life. So. Don't, don't let innocent people suffer. It doesn't work, work well when some of those same people here are burning and looting their stores. They, they, they would have done something if they could have. They were not involved. So why get innocent people involved? Why, why, why decide that you're going to burn down somebody's store who has nothing to do with it? That's what I'm saying. The senselessness that happens out of these situations. Yes, people are angry and they want something to burn and something to loot and something to shoot or whatever. But I don't think that is the solution. The black people need to come together and unite and find a better way to resolve and to seek justice than just going and burning down your own city that you live in and um, destroying people's lives on top of it when they have, they have nothing, nothing, nothing. That's my problem. Some of these people have nothing to do with, your, with, with what was happening. So what's the point, you know? It's, it, it's pointless. But I'm glad, as I said, that the guy was arrested and I too join with you all in saying arrest the other two, four, three officers, especially the one that were assisting in having him down on the ground and the one that was keeping guard. He, they all need to be, they are all accomplices. Because as I said before, the same way if I commit a crime, you find me and you find anybody who is accessory to my crime and you lock them up and you charge them too. You have to charge that those policemen or otherwise justice is not going to be considered served. Just to say you're fired is not good enough. They can go down the road and get another job and, and be laughing. A strong message needs to be sent to the entire police force that this is unacceptable and this will not be tolerated. Whether you're black, white, pink or blue, don't let this happen again. So a strong message needs to be sent. And the only way you're going to do that is to bring those other officers to justice and see to it that they are convicted. 
please if these this, this if these are released that's gonna be cause for more trouble and burning and whatever so I beg of you let justice prevail and we everybody will be watching closely how this will pan out if you want to support my effort I encourage you to click the like button the thumbs up or is it thumb? thumbs up button down here as well as you can um, click the little bell that notifies you when I do a video thank you very much God bless you and stay safe in Jesus bye bye